Howdy everybody out there, this is TJ, I'm coming at you from GoFigureNews.com. Today I will act as your host as we uncover yet the latest figure that arrived on our studio desktop from Old New England. We're talking about Acquired Taste Industries. Here is Agna Lumpa. Just some sort of weird phonetic bastardization between the worlds of one of my favorite franchises of all time, which has sort of slowed down in the later years, Willy Wonka. And then you mask on top of that a layer of the sci-fi classic of my childhood, Star Wars. And what do you get? You get this right here. You get this colorful, crazy, orange-faced, green-haired wild being that's something between an Oompa Loompa and maybe, let's say, a Gamorrean guard or something like that. I'm sure it's based on a different character from Star Wars, but I'm just going to cut to the chase and get right to that. But look at this card art. Hello! Talk about colorful and inventive and even the logo. I'm really looking forward to seeing what these guys make because this is a great first attempt at creating a character from another world. They have a peg holder uh, that's built into the card. This is ages 30 and up. I definitely fit that category for sure. And these are numbered. And I believe this is number one of 36. So does that mean that mine is more valuable than 36 of 36? In fine art, that definitely is categorized that way, but I'm not so sure uh, in the world of the bootlegger, bootlegger designer toy chamber of commerce, if you will. I'm going to flip this over so you can take a look, and it says collect all 36. I don't think that that will be possible because I'm sure that these have gone to many other homes, including this lovely studio. I'm going to read you a little bit from this passage right here, but you're going to have to get one of these to read the entire story. Uh, but there's all sorts of different colorful backgrounds and poses that they've put the uh, collection of 36 in here. Hand-painted and hand-sculpted. Um, and right here, it looks as though it's actually signed as well. Right here. I see a signature. These small hermaphroditic creatures are compelled to work from the day they hatch from chocolate eggs until the day they expire. It is a very rare for an Ugna Lumpa to question its circumstances or ward to organize and rebel. Such tendencies are thought to be a shameful genetic defect in their society. Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to leave the rest up to you to investigate. But I really do like the graphics here on the card art, I would say it's a perfect combination with this figure who comes wielding, as in the illustration, a purple gun. Now the gun here has sort of uh, shiny sparkles. This is a perfect mashup of two of my absolute favorite childhood treats and films that I actually have the entire collection on DVD or, or Blu-ray, and I have to tell you, I recently got the 40th anniversary edition, I think, box set of Willy Wonka, but as you probably know, in the early 70s, they really weren't releasing little figures from the films of the time, and actually since, there hasn't been much out on the market in terms of Willy Wonka. So this is as close as I'm going to probably get for now for a figure that emulates the whole uh, Kenner Mego generation. So this is really, really cool. My hat is officially off, as you can see today, to the folks over at Acquired Taste Industries. They really, not only do they have a great name, but they're putting out something great from the first outset. Now, just so you know, the paint on the face is really well done, and I'll have some close-ups for you so that you can actually take a look. 
So check those out right here. You can see that his face is quite the Crayola bright, like red orange color, and the hair is just an absolute delightful deep green. And then you get to the shirt and you have this sort of coppery, shimmery color and then the cream uh, overall jumpsuit. And then if you slide down you can see the shoes have the same color as the shirt with these uh, swirly bows on the top. Unbelievable. They made my month. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm really tongue-tied and uh, twisted. Ladies and gentlemen of the toy buying jury, this one is definitely one that you don't want to let get away. This fits right in the world of all the folks from killer bootlegs to psychedelic to special ed toys, etc. I think this is going to be something you're going to want to add to your collection. I guarantee it's not a money back guarantee. But you're definitely not getting your money back from me. Let me just say. Here it is. Shiny as the day is long. Now, one thing to mention about the card. Some people make these cards really, really sturdy. Some make them really floppy. And this is something right in between. So, um, if I would have any recommendation, I would say maybe um, in the future to have a slightly harder card. Other than that, they've hit every nail on the head right here. Bubbas and Bubettes, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe because we're going to be here for some time. And we'll see you right here next time on Go Figure News. Over and out.